Right now we are learning new details about the death of LaShawn Thompson. The 35 year old man was an inmate at the Fulton County Jail and was found dead last September. And just hours ago, we learned about a private autopsy delivered to Thompson's family, which says his body was covered in bed bugs when he died. Yeah, Jennifer, we remember those photos that came out. Many of you probably remember it as well. It says this autopsy says that he also died from an irregular heartbeat caused by dehydration, rapid weight loss, and untreated schizophrenia. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more. Advocates say the release of the new information fuels calls for jail reform and for Fulton County to get serious about compensating monetarily the family of LaShawn Thompson. This is inexcusable. This should have never happened in any jail in America. The LaShawn Thompson's body was found in the Fulton County Jail covered with lice and bed bugs. An autopsy commissioned by his family says it was cardiac arrhythmia that likely killed him, caused by rapid weight loss, dehydration, and schizophrenia untreated by the jail staff. It's criminal negligence. Somebody has to be held accountable for this. Somebody needs to account to this family. Fulton Sheriff Patrick Labatt has said the jail's chronic overcrowding, the county's inability to fully staff the jail, and years of disrepair has created an ongoing crisis inside the Northwest Atlanta lockup. But aside from reforming or rebuilding the jail, advocates say Fulton County owes a monetary settlement to Thompson's family. Who's responsible? Mm. Mm. Who's Who's, whose duty was it to make sure my nephew came out alive? But like all Georgia counties, Fulton is protected in court by sovereign immunity. It means counties can't easily be sued for injury or wrongful death claims. It also protects county employees. There are exceptions, but they are rare. 93 days my nephew was in jail and didn't come out alive. That's among the things motivating attorneys to turn this into a political issue, to get the attention of county commissioners who would have to approve a monetary settlement for Thompson's family. We must make this family whole. This cannot happen in Fulton County. Fulton officials agree that jail reform is needed. The costs are the hard part, as is the cost of a monetary settlement for LaShawn Thompson's family. In downtown Atlanta, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.